Anybody up for some lunar cave diving? Scientists this week may have come across something that could lead to the first ever human outpost in space. A large and cavernous lava tube was this week confirmed to exist beneath the surface of the moon. These tubes are volcanic underground passages formed by flowing lava to funnel this substance. Once the flow stops, the tube remains with features similar to a cave. The discovery was made by a team of Japanese and American scientists who used data from the Selene and Grail spacecraft to acoustically map the enormous lava tube. The chasm is around 100 meters wide and 50 kilometers long and located in the Marius Hills region of the celestial body. It could provide shelter to astronauts during moon missions, protecting them from dangerous cosmic radiation. This could potentially allow for the development of a lunar exploration base. And that moon base, Homo sapiens, could very well lead to a human colony. Lunar Rific. SpaceX to fly two tourists around the moon next year. This week, SpaceX announced bold plans to next year fly two paying passengers around the moon using technology that's still in development. In 2018, SpaceX hopes to fly two private citizens deeper into space than any human has journeyed previously. The two travelers will trek some 400,000 miles around and beyond the moon during the seven-day mission before looping back to Earth. Before training for the mission, SpaceX says each of the unnamed passengers will undergo a series of tests for their health and fitness. The passengers are set to travel aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft, shot into orbit by a multi-stage Falcon Heavy rocket. The still-in-design rocket's first stage consists of three reusable rockets that produce half a million pounds of thrust. After separating, the central rocket propels the payload into orbit, where it continues on its voyage. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the travelers will be trained for emergencies. However, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is also still being developed, will be mainly piloted autonomously. The crew can monitor real-time ship diagnostics, change the temperature, and take in views through one of the vessel's four windows. The spacecraft will conduct a flyby of the surface of the moon before traveling further out into space, where no human has gone before. It will then use the moon's gravity to slingshot back toward Earth. SpaceX hopes to launch the mission in late 2018, following a series of tests on the rocket and spacecraft. The identity of those traveling remains unknown, but one thing's for sure, they're very brave individuals indeed, and possibly also Scrooge McDuck Rich. We're going back to the moon. Aerospace companies United Launch Alliance and Bigelow Aerospace are collaborating to put a space station in orbit around the moon. The Lunar Depot plan is aimed at placing a Bigelow B-330 inflatable habitat in low lunar orbit by the end of 2022. ULA's Vulcan rocket will launch the B-330 into lower Earth orbit, where it will stay for about a year. While there, the habitat will receive supplies and get crew members rotated every few months. Two more Vulcan rockets will then be launched and their upper stages left in orbit. After propellant from one stage is transferred to the other, the fully fueled stage will attach the B-330 and propel it to its final position orbiting the moon. The companies claim the habitat can serve both as a platform for lunar business development and a location for NASA to conduct exploration and astronaut training missions. NASA locates missing Indian spacecraft. Launched in October 2008 on a two-year mission, India lost track of its first ever lunar probe, the Chandrayaan-1, after 312 days. Its whereabouts remained unknown until last July when NASA scientists located it. To search for the missing probe, NASA sent microwave beams from a 230-foot antenna at their Goldstone Observatory in California. These microwave beams were trained on the moon and the spacecraft's predicted orbit over the lunar North Pole. The Chandrayaan-1 passed through the beam and bounced back radio echoes that were received by the Green Bank Radio Telescope in West Virginia. The space agency reckons this same tracking method may have potential use in future robot and human missions to the moon. Water on the moon could fuel extended missions. 
Researchers at Brown University believe the moon's interior could be packed full of water. Water is found at the moon's poles, and scientists believe it exists there as a result of hydrogen brought by solar wind. However, according to a new study, magma eruptions from the moon's interior billions of years ago trapped water inside tiny beads of glass found in lunar rock. Satellite data collected by a lunar orbiter shows that these water-trapping glass beads are widespread on the moon's surface. Researchers have concluded that these water deposits are the result of magma that came from deep within the moon, meaning its interior must therefore contain water. Just how much water, however, is a question that no one can answer right now. But the researchers say future missions to the moon could potentially extract water from its surface, which would open the door to longer stays up there.